when looking at the angle theorems concerned with parallel lines, there's basically three different pictures we've got to be able to cope with. And what we've got to realize is if we draw a line across two parallel lines, we create two sets of four little angles. And on these, you can basically call them dots and crosses, and the dots and the crosses each have to add up to 180. Um, the two little sets of lines, one at the top, the four at the top, and the four at the bottom, are basically equal to one another, and we call these corresponding. Then if you look at the angles inside the parallel lines, you'll notice that the cross and the cross are the same, and the dot and the dot are the same, and we call these alternate angles. Now, we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180, and our little dot and our little cross add up to 180. And if we look at those angles inside the parallel lines, you'll see on each side of the line, we've got a dot, we've got a cross. So both of those add up to 180. And we call those the co-interior angles. And where they're actually going to be of use to you is if you come across a trapezium, where you've got to mentally say to yourself, well, the angles at each end have to add up to 180. And also in a parallelogram, the angles at each end of that have to add up to 180. But in a parallelogram, it's even slightly more complex because the angles at the top add up to 180 and the angles at the bottom, because that's got two pairs of parallel lines. So with parallel lines, fairly simple story. Get your story straight. Answering the questions easy. Thank you.